I'm going to show you how to make garlic naan bread. The recipe for this dough is same as the pita bread I have showed you before. Only the amount of the dough you cut is a little bit bigger. Like the other one was two and a half ounces, this is four ounces. And if you have not made garlic bread before, or bread before, it really worth some effort and time to put in and make this. And you're gonna love it because this garlic bread is gonna be nice, chewy, beautiful, soft, and garlicky. And you're gonna love it to serve that with any dish you have. And most definitely you should have all these ingredients at home, like flour, milk, water, salt, yeast. We need eight ounces of water, three ounces of milk, total gonna be 11 ounces of liquid, pound of flour, two teaspoons of yeast, and one tablespoon of salt. We start mixing our yeast in the warm water, and the water should be warm, basically. When you put your finger in, you should not burn your finger. Mix your yeast well until you dissolve all the uh, yeast. Add your milk, mix it, your uh, flour, and definitely salt. Now our mixture is ready to be mixed. Let's start mixing it. Our dough is ready and it's the time to be cut and portioned to the size we want. For uh, garlic naan bread, I usually like to cut my dough to four ounces each, but it's gonna be up to you. You want it bigger, cut it bigger. You want it smaller, smaller. I got seven out of this dough. And for rolling the dough, again, when uh, you pick it up, dip one side in the flour, and the wet side start folding it inside each other. And with your finger, just push it in, make it like a dome, as you see. Grab the ends together, pinch it, and here we go. You have a perfect dough ball. Again, I would like to show you the last one. You grab your dough, dip one side in the flour. You see the other side is still wet. I start folding it, pull the end together, pinch, and here we go. The dough ball is ready. Now we are gonna put it on the tray and definitely put some flour on your tray. Put your dough balls. Cover the tray for about half an hour, 45 minutes. But please remember, it's not always half an hour, 45 minutes. It's all dependent to how warm the room temperature is where you are. If that's during the summer, obviously it's gonna be a lot faster. If that's during the winter, the room is cold, gonna be taking a little bit more time. Anyway, put it in there. When they are about time and a half bigger than what they are, it's the time you can start baking them. And we're gonna bake this on the escalate uh, on top of the, the stove. And not because not everybody has oven at home. That is why we're gonna do it this way so everybody can see how easy that is. And if you wanna make it in your uh, oven, inside the oven, that's also easy. Has, uh, I, will give you the, I will give you the instruction in a minute. Thank you. Our dough is ready for uh, garlic naan bread. What we have to do is the last thing, basically we have to spread the dough, bake them, grill them, take them out, Put some butter, eat. That's it. We we'll start from the first one. Put it on your workspace. I'm gonna make a couple of them without uh, cilantro and a couple of them with. 
This one I'm gonna make it with cilantro. Basically, dip it in the cilantro you have. Go over it with your dough roller. The cilantro gives absolutely gorgeous taste and aroma to your bread. And uh, with this garlic bread, you're gonna be in heaven when you are eating this. With your spatula, push it down a little bit so you get some blisters on it. Put it on the plate. Now is the time to put the, another one of the breads on the esclet. And this one, while it is warm, you put your, uh, rub it with your garlic butter. This is a bread you can serve it with any dish, or you can just cut it to a smaller, small pieces, serve it like an appetizer. Uh, in any party, in any cocktail party, you can use it as a finger. I'll show you this one. You grab your dough, the wet part of your dough, dip it in your uh, cilantro, pieces of cilantro, place very small amount of flour on it, and start spreading. And by doing that, you are pushing the actual cilantro into your dough. And when you make it, when you bake your dough, when it become a bread, they already stuck to it and they're gonna be beautiful. This was the seventh one I already made. I wanted to thank you for watching this video. I hope you're gonna enjoy this bread, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you're gonna love it. And please give us a thumbs up in the bottom of the video. And also subscribe to our channel and push that little bell. So you're gonna get the notification anytime we make a new video, you're gonna get the new, you're gonna get the notification. And also please join us in our Facebook page, facebook.com front slash my simple dinner. Thank you very much for watching. This is Chef Kurosh from Portland, Oregon.